rascal. 36 Ford Freeway. Look at that. Obviously, you can see the supercharged flathead. Break. 57 Cadillac. Road runner. It's got a five-speed manual transmission. Black, obviously. Nice red, all red. I like that shifter, by the way. Over 20 years, first hot rod I built, but it's still in fantastic. It's done by Jeff Stiles. Probably the same yeah, number. Uh, no, I take that back. But, you know, and it's been a yeah, pretty good drive. Sure that's a good, good four-hour drive, drive to it. I'll tell you what, you don't have to play. <laughs> All right. So it's basically a custom mix. There's yeah. still an original like back end or yeah, the rear ends. I have to get the ideas to the uh pretty sure he's got the strap like last time. It is going to some good hands. It'd be much easier to get in my mouth than the speedster. The speedster, he just fell in it. So we're right here with Ray again, the creator of the Sefer. Yes, and this is the Rascal 36 Ford three window coupe. Custom, it's got 35 front fenders, fitted to the custom 36 grille. Late 40s Chevrolet headlights off of a pickup. Look at Obviously, that. Obviously you can see the supercharged flathead, 57 Cadillac hubcaps. It's nice, Ray. Yeah, and then you know the motor is Mercury. Yeah, it's a, it's a Merc with a scat crank, with a um, what size? Roadrunner Engineering, 276 cubic inch Roadrunner Engineering supercharger kit on it. Nice. When we, when we dynoed it, it made I think 325 horsepower. Actually, I'm sorry, 225 horsepower and and 300 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, we don't want to get a thumbs down for just one less horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a, a five-speed manual transmission. Um, obviously, the red, gloss red against the flat black is a nice highlight. The interior was done in all red by Westminster Auto Upholstery. Nice. To tie in the, the exterior colors. I like that shifter, by the way. Yeah, that was a uh, paperweight. Oh, wow. Look at that interior. Vic che Chevrolet Victory Red. It's a Victory Chevrolet Red, huh? Yep. Nice. Sits on air ride suspension. You can see that it's, uh, it's very pretty. low. It's got an uh, independent front Looks like it's been stretched. suspension. It's got a four link in the rear. Full air ride all the way around. Been done for over 20 years first hot rod i built but it's still in fantastic condition and that was we, your first built yeah wow. other than vw's motorcycles and steve wilk from wilk Works just recently upgraded all of the suspension and uh, really got it dialed in so it'll be driving great for bob nice and who did the pinstriping it was done by jeff styles and again that was done no i take that back Jeff Stiles has done a lot of work for me. It was originally done by Don Quayle, Don Q. But it was 20 years ago. Yeah. And it looks pretty uh, the same as what it did 20 years ago? Well, it's it's essentially the same car. Um, but, you know, it's, it, it, and it's been a, a pretty good driver. I've, I've driven it to San Diego multiple times. I've driven it to Paso Robles uh, and for the West Coast Customs Show. That's a good four-hour drive, so it... Did pretty good. Yeah, up the grapevine in the middle of the summer when it's 105 degrees out. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I know Bob's going to be driving into a lot of pool tournaments. Yeah, like five miles. Right. <laughs> That's it. He's going to go. He's gonna I go tell go you what, you don't have to play good. You could at least look good getting there. That's all. That's all. Bob's going to try and win as many. Bob's going to try and win as many trophies as he can in Apple Valley. <laughs> exactly. He, he needs to bring the Speedster and the 36 to the same show and yeah. see which ones the judges pick. Right. <laughs> I got a feeling they're going to like this car. <laughs> as far as the paint, Bob. A damp, like a warm damp microfiber rag, wipe it down. 
Um, you can use spray detail, but just the black just likes to needs to be just wiped down. Obviously, the red you can wax and do all that stuff, but it, it's, you know you wipe it down with a microfiber rag. And, Looks um, sweet. When you're when you're cleaning the rear white walls, yeah, how do what you I do is I bring the car up, put it in neutral, block the front wheel, and put a jack under the rear, and then you can spin the wheel and you can just clean the white wall as you spin it. That's a pro tip right there. <laughs> I've, I've done it for 20 years. Speaking of paint, somebody asked me to ask you what paint the Zephyr is. That, that was a custom mix. It started off as a, a mid-1970s Toyota FJ color. And then we took it and we um, darkened it up and we removed some of the green. All right. Really custom mix. So it's basically a custom mix. Yeah, There's... the guys at PPG spent like four or five hours Test, coming up with test, it test 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 is what you see inside and you take it outside and but it's done in a single single stage paint so no clear coat all right so there's nowhere they could basically purchase it it's just yeah i mean i've had guys ask me about it and i share the paint code with them it's that's part of the problem. all right if somebody wants to paint their car good for them cool yeah, that's a compliment for me so i checked the oil i added a little bit of oil you're good it definitely leaks a little bit so <laughs> yeah, um, I just replaced this radio to radiator hose here. As you can see, it kind of s's out because it was it was it was hitting the alternator, so to alleviate that problem, um, I do get some. Uh, you do get a little bit of breather blow by out of yeah. the breather, and that's where you put the, the oil in. What I did was I created a baffle plate that's louvered at the base, and then I take a shop rag, uh, half of one, and I put it in there so that it catches the oil so it doesn't come blowing out and just the air actually kind of breathes so periodically like, periodically you uh you want to change that out hi carlos and that's a, an original like back end or did you do anything special to so the, the back rear, end? The, the, yeah, far, the rear end. As far as the body? Yeah. Yeah, all original other than the skirts. Nice. The, the, the tail light's been lengthened. It wasn't a factory tail light, but the factory tail light mounts there and it's a little bit shorter. And there's usually one on the other side as well. So we just went with a single tail light. Original bumpers. Just had them re chrome They had the bumper brackets chrome. And how'd you get the idea of the, uh, I noticed this is like a fabric. Yeah, fender well. Well, it's just like a Volkswagen. Uh huh. You run fender well. Some of them, some of them, some people don't run it, but and typically it's black. I see. But if you put black in there, it'd be okay against the body, but it certainly wouldn't be okay there. No. So you just wanted to be consistent with the color of the car. Nice. I see it runs down the side as well. Yeah. Cool. Give me the bill of sale so I can write you up another one. Yeah. Okay, get in, Bob. Is there seatbelts in this one or no? Oh, yeah, it's off. And this one's going to be much easier to get in, Bob, not like the Speedster. <laughs> I think the Speedster is going to be was going to be a little bit easier for him. Because it's easier to stop down. And it's a VW. Yeah, the, the, the Speedster, he just fell in it. It was there getting out, was the... the... Top is up on that speed <laughs> Well, you're going to see when you sit in this, you're kind of sitting low and your legs are stretched out. Yeah. They're not, you know, like this. Yeah, that's good, though. I see. Get in. You want to give it a little bit of gas so you get some fuel from the electronic fuel pump um, into the carburetor. So you just give it a couple pumps. But it, it... You don't, you don't have to do anything. It purrs like a cat. I mean, obviously I drove it over here, but... Well, winding mode. It's, it's, not a, you know, it's not a race car or anything like that. It's like miles it looks like a race car. It looks like it's bigger than a quarter mile. So if the air ride suspension, the way this car should sit in the front all the way the tire and the rear.
a little bit of gas. Okay, now with the airbag switch, you're going to do the rear first. Three times. Got them right there. One, two, three. One more. Okay, now do the front four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. That's good. You can drop the back down a little bit. When you get to where you're going, after you make sure you park it in a safe place because of the driver. You can hear. For example, now, now that it's up, you can bring the front or up, front and rear. Look at how feel how high the front and rear is up. Bring it all the way up. Bring the back up. So it goes up quite a bit. Okay. That's good. You go to you get to the driveway, you gotta go in sideways like a BMW yeah, yeah. or bring it all the way up, otherwise you're gonna scrape it. It's sweet. You go, you're going to the car, wherever you're going. Oh, we're gonna go now with this? Good. Okay. And take our post sticks? Let's actually, let them write the, the we'll stay and write that uh, bill of sale again. Hang up for a minute. What are these switches down here for? The only, those used to be the old airbag controls with the weapons. They don't do anything. The only thing is that. Yeah. Is for all you engine nuts out there. I got you guys covered. Put some of those on the side. Feel, Bob? Feels great. Feels old. <laughs> Feels like driving an old car. Well, it's only a couple years old. Yeah, a little bit older than me. 1936. Yep. That guy. That guy no. was, he's like, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. You got your hundred thousand dollars worth right there. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> What's that? You're looking at my hundred thousand dollar smile. Yeah, the the <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> So Bob, have we learned anything today? Yeah, we learned not to roll the windows up. What else? We learned uh, not to be too far away from Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we learned not to listen to Ruben telling you to roll the windows up and close the doors on a car to have and, no and, and leave the keys inside. Well, even if we had the keys, it got <laughs> There's no keyhole. <laughs> it wouldn't help us even without having the keys in our hand. Yeah, we're gonna see this beauty go up that trailer, right up those ramps. Doing the final touches.
Okay, I think it's all good. All right, if you need anything, Mr. Bob, you know that I'm here for whatever. And you, you already used up two calls today, so. Pardon me? He already used up two calls. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was just one call. It was the one that's the button. Well, it was he, the. He knows what, what's oh, the my, what's that my, one's yours. It was the, the, the window. Button. What's my, what's my <laughs> feeling associated with you buying the car, Bob? Yeah. And like I said, anytime no, you no, want to tell, call. tell him what my feeling is about you buying the car. That's the most important thing. Yeah, to that me. I'm happy with it. That's it. Same thing with so the Porsche. Yeah. That's... He wants me to be happy. If I have any problems, I just bring it back and he'll. You do call whatever. me, we'll, we'll figure it out. The, the one thing that you can do that'll make your life easier if you want, but it's your choice is you can upgrade the air ride suspension where you have a module on each corner and by having that module it's it, it, it the computer reads the module and then if you look at the controller there's yeah. one two three you can have preset ride heights uh. so you don't have to guess you can go okay i'm going up a driveway three yeah okay i'm going to be driving along my regular ride is two yeah. I'm at a show, I want to drop it down to a level that I can drive it at five miles an hour at the lowest as can be, one. Oh, and then that's you can override awesome. that it's all stuff. preset. Mm. But in order to do that, what, when Steve and I discussed it, it's probably about 1500 two grand for the, all the parts and for him to put it all on and get it all set up. So if it's something you want to do, just let me know and I'll coordinate that with him. You want to order two of those? <laughs> yeah. The only thing I was for, telling for me, you, I just use the switch. Yeah. So what do you think? I have an idea. Like, see how it's all white right there? Yeah. I'm thinking of doing like some of that, a little bit on there. You can do that, and I can hook you up with a pinstriper. I mean, you've already seen that we've done. Some yeah, of yeah, it. That's yeah. Thing. Yeah, I saw that. So I just think it looks a little, little like it's missing something. You, you can, yeah, it's your yeah. car. I think that'll look kind of cool with that. I think a gizmo right in the middle would be no, nice. No, no, I don't want my name on it. If no, I, no, I uh, uh, like a gizmo. <laughs> don't put your name on it. Here I am, gizmo and curses. <laughs> yeah, but tell I mean, them what you were gonna get, put on the other get a side. Striper that can follow. That, <laughs> you get a pin striper that can follow that same pattern. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And quite frankly, I guess you'd have to. You can't do it in white because it's not gonna show. No. So you can do the red and then maybe some black. But if you exactly. do it, then you're gonna have to do some black on this too to, to yeah. tie it in. Or just but, leave it in red. Red will look clean. Yeah. I think red will look great. But uh, thank you. I, uh, I'm happy. I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to go take it out and show everybody. Yep. How does it pop up? Just pull? No, there's a, there's a screw here you undo because there's an arm that holds it and, uh -huh. and that screw then releases the lever and you turn that lever down and it, it turns the, cause it, it's latched up here. So when you do it, it takes the latch and it turns the latch like that. Wow. And, then it, and then there's also a pin up front of you. So what you do is you undo the bolt, you turn the lever down, it'll come, come this direction, and then you slide it out of the hole. Gotcha. But there's no need for you to take that off. And, you know, the paint underneath there from chafing and stuff is not in good shape. Yeah, but you don't see it. No, no. And like I said, if, if you want to clean the rear, the white wall, you just... Yeah, jack it up. Jack it up, it. put it in neutral, and spin the wheel. Yeah. All right.